Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Daz. No, I'm Office Bloke Mike. We are the two of us. Yes, we are. Uh, if Patreon's your thing, check mm. out the link in the description below. Absolutely loads of stuff on there, all starting for a bargain price of just... Uh, £1.50 a month. Mm. How yeah. much is that US dollars, Mike? Oh, about $1.70. I'm just guessing. I'm yeah. just Probably guessing. Probably rounds up to $2, yeah. I'm guessing, on Patreon. I don't know. Yeah, probably uh, does do. Yeah, but it's, uh, there's loads of stuff on there. We're just at the moment, we're just coming up to the ending of the uh, the last dance. We are, yes, indeed. Really I think good. we've got one yeah. or two left of that, yeah, and then we'll be on to something yeah. new. Mm. Mm. So check uh, it out. So, yeah, it should be good. Get down there. Uh, Street Gang takes over California Motel. Ooh, the donut yeah. operator. <sighs> A little bit of donut. Yeah, see, people are taking over all kinds of stuff around the world. I'm seeing like you know, like uh, the gang related issues. Yeah, where, you know, it's, it's it's a global problem at the moment. I'm sure it's been a problem for years, but we're yeah, street more gangs. And more I mean, about a lot it. of it's down sort of like doing shoplifting and stuff, and gangs going in yeah. its stores and stuff mm. like just taking yeah, everything you want. And over in the UK, we're getting a lot of shit at the moment as well, which is uh, it's not good, not a good place to be at the moment. Yeah, but uh, let's see what this is. Where well, this is at in California Motel. Yeah, street gang takes over California Motel. Let's do it. Donut operator. <laughs> He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Back up. Back up. Hi, everyone. Donut here. I am back with a new video about Baltimore. What a wonderful place. The machine is never wrong, son. Today, we're going to be talking about Baltimore Jump Out Boys. Some of my favorite boys. God, I love The Wire. I actually just rewatched it. It's still just one of the best television shows to this day. Indeed. Never seen it. We also have a video oh, where not. a pretty chunky boy gets dropped after not dropping a deadly weapon. Those folds can hold many a weapon. I immediately know how it could have been avoided. I don't want to spoil that video, but holding on to shooty shoots for too long while police are telling you not to hold on to shooty shoots might get you lit up. We're going to go over that, but first, a word from my sponsor. Our sponsor for this video is PDS Death. The economy is in shambles and we're PDS strives to understand your specific scenario and can help become debt free today. That's pdsdebt.com slash donut. Let's get into today's first video. June 26, 2024, Pomona, California. Pomona. 911 receives hmm. calls with people saying, hey, there are gang members at the deluxe motel holding people up. They got a gun and they're robbing people. There's two gang members from Cherryville uh, Street Gang. They're in the deluxe motel, standing out. They got guns and drugs, and they're threatening people, robbing people, they're disrespecting people. They're out in front. They're out in the motel. They have a gang injunction. Send the boys to go get them. In case you didn't catch that, <laughs> yes, there are armed criminals holding people up at the deluxe motel, aka the deluxe inn. I love that bit. Send the boys to go and get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go and, go and finish them off. It's a proper yeah. sentence out. Yeah. Brilliant. If you couldn't tell by the name already, Deluxe Motel is probably a f***ing <laughs> shithole. It's a place where you can get bed bugs, AIDS, and robbed all in one spot. Now, trust me when I say this. It's not a place you want to be caught. You're not staying at, you're not sort of like going, I mean, I'm booked into the Deluxe Motel. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I think they're I mean. building up the part there a bit, aren't they, Deluxe? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that's the guy's name. Who owns it? <laughs> Deluxe. <laughs> called to as an officer, but you're going to be called there every day. What I'm saying is if you buried crack in the ground, this place would grow from it. I'm about 100% sure the walls here are held together by bed ah. bugs. So these officers make their way to the crack garden inn. That's where they make contact <laughs> with our suspect. Hey, take a seat on the curb, man. Hey! Take a seat on the curb. Take your hand out of your take your hands out of your jacket. Take your hand out of your jacket. One at gunpoint. He's refusing to comply. Hey, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground now. We told him enough. I know, yeah. Get on the ground now. Get on get your hand out of your jacket. Get on the ground now. Get in. Hey. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground now. How many times are you going to tell him? Just taser him there yeah. at that point. Right? They've got tasers so. drawn, is it? I'm not sure if they have or not, but you'd yeah. think a taser, they just would have deployed it yeah. pretty much straight away. But Normally when you point a taser, don't they have like a red dot that shows where the... Uh... Whether, oh, does it? Ah, it, yeah. you know what? I've never noticed that yeah, before. Yeah, I think they have like a, they know, like a laser sight. Like the pointer sight mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, okay. Hey, get on the ground! This dude seems pretty gun. brave to walk away from officers yeah. with his hands in his pocket. You don't normally want to do that. He's also nope. telling cops mm -hmm. to back the f*** <laughs> away. Smart. <laughs> I hate to judge books by their covers, but here, let's take a look at this fine, upstanding, tax-paying citizen. Yeah, that's him. Seriously, if you're at the books, <laughs> we, we know, Oh, wow. <laughs> we know someone who looks just like that, don't we? <laughs> yeah, do a bit, yeah. <laughs> It looks like he's been drawing on his head. Uh, a, no. He looks just like that, doesn't he? He does a little bit, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. This guy, just sleep at the bus stop instead. You're going to die. Pomona.
Corona officers keep pursuing him, and he decides to take some of the funniest cover I've ever seen a suspect take. Get on the ground! Take your hand in your pocket! Hey! Get on the ground! Yes, where are you? Get cover, get cover, get cover, get cover, get cover, get cover! Hey! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! I'm just gonna go out on a limb here. Being a subject matter expert when it comes to police interactions, I just gotta say, I don't know if that's enough cover for that. <laughs> that any stupid? That doesn't stop the suspect from escalating the situation, which, as you can guess, happens next. What's up? You got one simple one? Hey, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. Back, away. back up, back up. Look, I'm not even tripping, dog. Back away. Cool. I'm not even tripping, dog. I'm not hurting nobody. Hamilton and Holt, he's walking southbound. Can I enjoy it? Hey, get on the ground. Bro, leave me alone. Come on, dog. I'm not even tripping. Hey, get on the ground, dude. You're not going anywhere, dog. Get on the ground. Hey, right, get listening. on the ground. Hey, get on the ground. Hey, what? I don't think he's going to run away, though, is he? He doesn't look like <laughs> it. Know, it's, not gonna, guy it's not going to make a run for it, is he, and get anywhere soon, so... Watch out, watch yeah. out, watch out! As you can see right there, the suspect is indeed tripping because he pulls a gun out. After that, officers follow the suspect. They still try to reason with him while he continues to disobey orders from Shit. the officer. That's when the officers pull out the ouchie rounds, you know, them beanbags that hurt pretty goddamn bad. They use the beanbags to try and force him to comply. I got the car, sir. Watch car, watch car! Watch car! Watch car! From what we can see, the first round is pretty ineffective for the suspect, probably because of his big bone. He's got a lot of cushion there, a lot of padding. Hey, fatty, you are fat. So officers try it a second time. Put it in your hand. Drop it in your hand. Drop the gun. Drop it in your hand. In his pocket. Your hand in your pocket. It's lucky he hasn't been shot. It looks like he's going to throw it. Yeah. The way he's holding it. Oh. Officers miss the suspect with the last beanbag round. It looks like they knock a Colt 45 out of his hand. Not the gun kind, the kind that they brew in the toilet. It tastes like piss. It works every time. The suspect is <laughs> with aiming his gun at officers. Smart. That only has one outcome, and that's pretty much getting shot all to shit. Let's take another look where he charges the officers. <laughs> charges. He charges the officers while pointing a gun at them. <laughs> The suspect went down, officers try to render aid, and like many of these stories where you point a gun at a police officer, he died later in the hospital from coronary heart failure. I'm just kidding, wow. they shot him a lot of times. <laughs> Keep in mind, this dude had about a million chances to drop his weapon. Honestly, I can't believe officers even let him wave it around as much as they yeah, did. True. But California, I that, yeah. am I right? I just feel kind of bad for the owner of this poor innocent car that happened yeah. to be there. A vehicle bystander, you might say. And to our final video, I told you that we're gonna be some jump out boys. Probably some of the wildest jump out boys in the entire country yet we're talking about Baltimore jump out boys. They have to deal with a lot of shenanigans. August 5th, 2024, Baltimore, Maryland, 9.15 p.m. Members of the Baltimore's <laughs> group violence unit were patrolling an area. They were investigating an area where there had been a shooting only an hour prior. Officers stated that they noticed a man moving around his waistband and they thought they saw a gun. That was a penis. Because officers <laughs> in this unit are trained specifically to look for people who have firearms, which is basically everyone in Baltimore. Sorry, that for protection, man, that's sick. Hey, sir, sir, sir. It's your life in danger man everyone life in danger man it's baltimore they decide to stop the man and investigate a little bit further now the body camera footage that we're going to take a look at first is from the perspective of the officer who first walks up to the man and tries to question him and wouldn't you guess it the guy's not very chatty
Now that was the first officer who was attempting to catch up to the guy and talk to him a little bit. Slow him down, maybe do a little Terry stop. To see everything that happened though, we're gonna slow down a little bit. And you can see that the suspect was in fact armed and trying to pull a firearm on the officer. Ah, wow. As you may know, it's very rare that jump out boys are alone. And as you can see in this footage, during the struggle, backup started to arrive. <laughs> But once the suspect draws his weapon, all hell breaks loose. Go! Cease fire! Cease fire! Cease fire! Back up! Back up! I was hoping it would be Officer wow. Kellogg that shreddies him. Yeah! Oh, gee. Come on. I couldn't resist. I'm here all week. From the footage you're about to see, we can get a different perspective from the officers who had just pulled up on scene. Oh, it might have been. All oh, right, yeah. Cease fire! Cease fire! Back up! Back up! These guys have a proper fucking death wish, don't oh, they? Oh, I know. Hey? Yeah, he's running in there and getting involved. What's he doing? Just, just stay out the way. Just yeah. stand like that. Say, right, I'm out. God, but going in insane. there and these cops, man, I tell you what, you imagine working this this area. Oh, I know. This is what you got to face on a daily well, basis. Literally, lives were in danger there, yeah. weren't they? Because he clearly pulled the gun yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, yeah. they've got to think this guy's going to use it. So they've got to get in there first, haven't they? Oh. But this other guy running towards them and everything just. Stay out of the way because it a heightened situation like that, the more yeah. likely to just go around and shoot him as well. Just death wish on him, man. Probably yeah. bad. Uh, I guess he probably burnt him to a rice crispy. Oh, <laughs> and now the perspective. I'll stop now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's that quagmire? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Once the suspect was relieved of his firearm, he was given first aid and transferred to the hospital. The three officers who were involved in the shooting have been put on paid vacation. Whether or not the officers used excessive force is under investigation by the Baltimore Police Department. Get it what do you guys think mm, about this yeah. one though? Was it too excessive? Let me know in the comments. Was it enough force used? Were the officers lucky to come out of this incident without being injured that's all i have for you fine people today check out not at all i think i wish our cops had used that same force it certainly looked like they didn't use excessive force to me because the guy had yeah, drawn gun. his gun i yeah. mean if he's done that all he has to do is turn around and pull the trigger yep. and it only takes one shot and yeah. you could kill him you've got to eliminate Simple anyone that. draws a gun and if you're if you're trying to arrest someone or try to stop someone and they draw a gun you've got to try and eliminate yeah, especially against the police you've got no reason to pull a gun and then turn it around yeah. on a police officer yeah. mm. if it's Listen, if it was a stranger, some that we didn't know, maybe they'd be frightened, thinking that we're going to get mugged or something. But if it's a police officer, yeah. absolutely yeah, no listen, excuse. I know I a lot of think. innocent people have been shot by police you know, around the world in different places. But I'll tell you what, though, sometimes the police are not targeting people just because. I mean, I get they do sometimes, but for the most part, it's, yeah, the, wrong, it's the wrong ones. Yeah. They're looking oh. They've done something wrong. Yeah. And I get some of these people probably are high on drinking drugs or something mm. like that sometimes. Yeah. And I don't think they're making the right decisions it's in the same matter. The, the criminals, the criminals might the be criminals as well. The criminals, yeah. But <laughs> they might be high on drinking drugs well, as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one of the reasons why the police have to be pretty careful, isn't it? Because if these guys pull them in and they aren't on drinking drugs, then yeah. they're probably even more likely to use it than yeah. any other time. Yeah. It's so just, it's, it's a bad situation for it's a, a cop to be in. It's a difficult one. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a split second decision you've got to make and it, it's your it's, life. It's life know. and death situation mm. as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, uh, I know so, what I'd do. I just wish our cops oh, would do the same man. over here. Yeah. Instead of pandering to the, uh, to the masses of... Uh, That's what happens you know. sometimes, isn't mm. it? But yeah. anyway. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, always good donut. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.